uh, welcome back here in this video uh, we are going to talk about what are uh, outbound messages in salesforce and how we can implement and how we can test those outbound messages in salesforce so uh, we will talk about uh, what is outbound messages and uh, when we need to use and then we will see a live implementation for that so basically outbound message is a soap api call uh, that there is a method in soap api that is called as notification so if you wanted to implement uh, with the help of apex code you can uh, use that method the notification method to get the soap uh, send the notification to any third party system and a single soap notification can contain up to 100 notifications and uh, if the third party who is uh, receiving that outbound message is not acknowledging uh, with the correct format that salesforce needs uh, then it is retrying to send the outbound message again for all those requests that are uh, 24 hours old so uh, when we need to use outbound message so uh, let's say that uh, you have a very uh, simple example uh, whenever uh, you are converting a lead uh, to any new account or new opportunity or new contact uh, your requirement is uh, to notify the third system uh, third party system uh, so that uh, both the database salesforce and the third party database can be in a sync mode so there are two ways that, that you can do either you can write a trigger on uh, account insertion whenever an account is inserted at the result of lead convert you can send a notification email with the help of uh, apex trigger and handler class consume the third party api and send the notification saying that hey this account uh, has been created as a result of uh, this lead uh, conversion and the other way is uh, you can uh, develop a you can call a process builder and then from process builder you can call an apex class which will again lead to uh, develop and custom apex code uh, which will lead to consume the api call of third party system and then send the notification and then the third uh, third way is the third way that we can implement is with the help of an outbound message uh, that is uh, the workflow action inside a workflow so you can uh, simply create a workflow action that is outbound message and then uh, select what all those fields you wanted to send and what all those uh, uh, what is the particular endpoint what is the third party endpoint that is intended to listen that outbound message and then uh, send it to the third party system without any writing a single line of code and uh, so outbound messages are uh, also similar to the web hooks uh, web hooks like uh, whenever we are trying to commit any code into github or bitbucket uh, repositories uh, other builds the ci cd servers like jenkins are listening to their webhooks and then uh, automating the build uh, build validation or build deployment to the target environment this is something uh, outbound message is something similar to the webhooks outbound message endpoint is continuously listening to the event whatever event you have given into the salesforce either it is created uh, created or edited it will listen and if that particular condition is true it will send an outbound message to your third party system this is how this how outbound message works in salesforce so uh, as a response as a response what uh, salesforce ex uh, expects from the third party system that should be written as uh, acknowledged so that salesforce can say yes uh, that yes uh, that particular work outbound message has been uh, successfully delivered to salesforce so this is uh, actually the response uh, that uh, uh, salesforce needs it should be the exact same way the third party needs to be sent as an acknowledgement of outbound message whenever a third party is receiving that outbound message a third party needs to be sent the response in this exact format then only the salesforce will say that okay outbound message got successfully delivered even if you are uh, successfully delivering the outbound message and this response is not returned to the salesforce salesforce will say that such uh, notification was not successfully uh, conveyed or not successfully delivered to the intended third party system so this is how uh, the uh, output look like uh, and now let's uh, see how we can implement this solution so we have uh, got a very simple requirement which is uh, which is whenever an account is created uh, with uh, we can say uh, that uh, whenever an account is created they just send the information to the third party system that an account has been created into the salesforce so this is the information of account and uh, just uh, sync your system with uh, the updated account 
account information so uh, first thing that we will do is uh, we will create a listener uh, with the help of some uh, free available tools uh, over the google and then we will create a workflow rule and then we will test that so to create the listener uh, i'm going to use uh, requestbin.com uh, you can uh, use this requestbin.com and then either you can use hookbin.com so uh, you can use either of uh, one uh, either of these two either you can use hookbin or requestbin so i will uh, test this scenario test the workflow rule for two different objects one is for lead and one is for account with these two endpoints so let's uh, first create for this so i'm going to create as a new endpoint and it will uh, create once you click on that button it will create a endpoint that is this is the endpoint now you need to copy this endpoint and then go to your uh, go to your salesforce account so here uh, then go to the workflow rule section And here uh, you can select uh, this is the account uh, that I need to deactivate so that we can be sure that no others yeah and now I'm just going ahead and deleting this workflow rule I will create a workflow rule on account object so click on new rule and here I will select account I will say that uh, account outbound I will select create it and here for a uh, criteria let me select uh, anything account name is uh, not equal to null it, this is just a dem dummy criteria you can put uh, as per your uh, choice and then for the immediate workflow action just select new outbound message so once you click on this new outbound message here you need to you can set that send uh, account information and then here this is the endpoint URL that you need to put so here uh, whatever endpoint URL that you created with the help of hook bin either request bin you need to put paste that here and user to send as uh, I'm here and if you wanted to send the session ID of the user you can also select this checkbox and then you select the field whatever you wanted to send so let me I just selected random all the fields and then I'll click on save Once uh, and then now click on done and then activate this so here uh, you have created and now where you will see in the salesforce where you will see those outbound messages so you can just uh, type here outbound and here you will see uh, under monitor section you will see outbound messages so click on this click and here you will get the information there is no outbound message right now so now let uh, me go ahead and create an account for this I will just create a test account here so uh, let me clone one account so I will clone uh, as communication account here so I will say oops I don't have clone button here so let me click on new I will say SFDC Panther outbound message okay and then I will select all those required fields whatever I have Okay, so uh, this is all information that I'm feeling here and just let me select few more fields and once I'll uh, click on save it will send all the information uh, to the third party that we that we created here uh, to the that particular in point URL. so let's click on save and the account has been created now if you go to the outbound uh, monitor section and we'll refresh this screen you will get that message and you will see that error why we are set, uh, get, set, uh, like getting that error why we are receiving that error because uh, remember once we uh, were discussing about the notification response we said that this is the exact re response that salesforce does uh, needs to be uh, returned by the third party system to the salesforce and in our case uh, there is uh, unfortunately we don't have option to uh, send the uh, to edit this and then send back the response to the salesforce so this is why uh, we are not getting but here if we'll refresh that page we will get the response here you can see uh, we are successfully getting the response and this is the body if you see let me highlight this okay you are not uh, this is not uh, quite clear so let me copy this and i will paste there uh, in 
some uh, notepad so I will type here I will paste here so you can see and uh, let me change the color as well so here I will change the color as black so you can see so whatever uh, we information uh, if you see here uh, we said uh, account number we said that active address and then we put annual revenue we said uh, billing city and if we talk about uh, session id you can see that the huge, huge logged in user session id is also here because we uh, we were we check that checkbox to send the session id we are also getting uh, organization id here and then we talk about uh, id notification id is this what was the account uh, what was the object type that was sent as to the uh, as the, as a response and then here if you see the account id account number amount annual revenue and then uh, we have a uh, industry portal and all those so this is all information that uh, that of that particular account whatever we uh, created that account uh, we got uh, got that information over here if you see that name here we are able to see that sfdc panther outbound message so this is how uh, outbound message works in salesforce the only thing that uh, we need to keep in mind is uh, to acknowledge to send the acknowledge response to salesforce but here uh, we are not able to uh, send that acknowledge response to salesforce uh, this is why uh, uh, that salesforce is saying that that outbound message was not successfully uh, delivered so uh, this was uh, with the help of hook bin now let uh, let me uh, delete this otherwise it will keep trying to send the information now i will try with a request bin so you can uh, click on a request bin once you will click uh, it will give you a url you can see this url and then you can click on copy and then uh, go back to your workflow rule and you will see let me create this workflow rule this time on lead object so is there any workflow rule on lead object i will deactivate it there is also one i will also deactivate this and then i will delete this so that uh, we can be sure that our latest workflow rule is working so here you can see there is no rule on lead i will create new one now so I'll say that uh, select our workflow rule on lead object and then we can say that lead outbound say that and here we will say lead annual revenue is uh, let's say that greater than equal to 10,000 And then again add a new outbound message. Then let's send lead information and put here a URL here. So if your URL, uh, the URL that is listening is uh, starting with HTTPS, then only you can send this session ID. If the URL is not starting with HTTPS, then you mm, cannot you cannot check this checkbox. So this time I don't want to send. I'll mm, unselect that checkbox and then I will send it and then I will save this message and then uh, after clicking on done we only need to do the activate the workflow rule so now uh, this uh, let's uh, refresh this we don't have any as of now uh, now let's go back to our lead let's say uh, check the duplicate potentials and then now we have clone here so I will clone this and then I will say that uh, outbound and here I will also append outbound so that we can save. So here uh, let me check them. Okay. Good. So now let's click on save. Okay, it's saved and now let's. Uh, I refresh this okay we don't have any organ message here why okay why we don't have because this annual revenue criteria is not fulfilling so we need to uh, let's say that I'm putting some random number here 
and then now if I'll click on save this we should get outbound message here and it will say that okay we don't have as of now it's it okay we don't have here so we have annual revenue criteria is lead okay it is also active it is uh, 10,000 okay what we value given here is 13,000 okay let's see here okay we didn't get any request here as of now so what happening here is on evaluate when okay evaluate when record is created this is why uh, this was not able to send now let's clone this record and uh, while we are cloning make sure that we have given the value for this annual revenue record and then save this so now this is uh, the new record which is being created and now if you will uh, refresh this you will see that uh, the message has not been sent and even this particular URL will receive that you can see a post message here and if you click on this post you will see a header here you can see that attributes all if you wanted to see here in the raw response you can see that uh, action ID what is the org ID and then uh, you can see notification ID and then after you can see what was the object and what was the ID what was the annual revenue what was the city status what was the client what was the company name and then uh, if you talk about name it should be here uh, it should be an N. okay it is lead name so you can see that du duplicates are bound so this is how you can uh, implement you can work with outbound masses uh, again uh, the only thing that is uh, you need to send the acknowledge response from the third party to your salesforce system so uh, this is it for this session uh, i will uh, see you on the next